Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another amazing FNAF movie news video. With the recent release of the second full-length trailer, the final trailer for Blumhouse's upcoming FNAF film, we of course just have so much brand new news to talk about, new posters, new behind the scenes, even some first glimpses at the second FNAF movie. This video is going to be absolutely crazy, so buckle up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more FNAF movie news, or just FNAF news over because literally tomorrow we're getting our first look at Help Wanted 2, so it's gonna be another crazy week for us FNAF fans. But let's kick this video off by taking a look at some brand new posters for the film. The final trailer thumbnail had all the characters inside of this ball pit, very reminiscent of the first Fazbear Fright book actually with Spring Bonnie. So kind of a missed opportunity, they definitely should have had a poster with Matthew Lillard's William Afton in the Spring Bonnie suit in the ball pit, but whatever, because we did get separate photos of Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken, as well as her cupcake, who's actually been getting a whole lot of representation in this film. And lastly, of course, we have Foxy the Pirate, so all of the main characters got their own separate posters. But that's not all, because we did get another group poster, this time with all the characters outside of Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. It's quite amusing pointing out the sign, how it's gotten super long now to spell out Five Nights at Freddy's. But taking a closer look at the characters outside the facade of the pizza, Cupcake, Chica, Freddy, Foxy, and Bonnie. Freddy's the only one who doesn't look rightfully pissed at us for trespassing on his pizzeria. And at least with this new group poster, a lot of people have pointed out they've ditched the red eyes. Even though they're definitely gonna still be present in the film, we do see a few shots in this new trailer with the red eyes. I definitely wouldn't blame Blumhouse and Universal if they are trying to cut back on using the red eyes in promotional material like we see here. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these brand new posters for the film, and now let's move on to some behind the scenes. Because if you remember, back Back when they were still filming the film, a few YouTubers, Doko, Razbowski, Baz, and 8 Ryan were actually flown out to New Orleans where they were filming, and they got to take a whole bunch of pictures and behind the scenes videos of the actual pizzeria. They got to see up close and personal the Freddy Fazbear sign. But with the release of this brand new trailer, Scott gave the boys the A-OK -okay to post some brand new behind the scenes. First up here, we got our good pal Louis Doko's Games Dawkins here on the show stage with Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica. And you can see just how not only massive these guys are, but also just how accurate they are to what they look like in the game. The show stage is practically spot on as well, with the red curtains, the lights, the brick walls, even the clouds in the background. Now that's not the only stage Daco visited, here we can see him in front of Pirate's Cove with Foxy. Now interesting thing about Pirate's Cove is that Foxy, unlike the characters on the main stage who are on rotating platforms it seems, Foxy is instead on a movable track so we can go back and forth when he's behind the curtain and when it's his time to do showtime, which we can see the showtime button right between the two stages, Pirate's Cove and the main stage. We also see Vanessa press that in the new trailer. And then here we get a further back shot of the main stage. It looks absolutely insane. Down below, we got some speakers, of course, for the music, for the showtime. They got stairs going up to the stage. Up at the top, we got some stars, very similar to what we see on the chairs in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And then, of course, the iconic checkered board white and black patterns going around the floor, the wall. There's even a Bonnie poster off to the right. Sticking with the show stage, here we got our boy Razbowski up on the stage posing in front of Freddy and Bonnie. Then we got an up-close shot of Raz breaking one of the rules. He's touching Freddy Fazbear up on the stage. Interestingly enough, if you look inside Freddy's mouth, his Endo-01 is actually leaning towards Raz, so I definitely recommend getting out of there as soon as you can, buddy. And then we've got Baz posting a full group photo with all the YouTubers with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Seeing a photo like this is still just absolutely surreal how Jim Henson's Creature Shop was able to capture exactly what the characters look like in the first game. We got another Another photo, this time Chica leaning a bit more, it's kind of the same photo, but... <sighs> Freddy, your eyes are closed, bro. We're taking pictures here. Another photo Baz showed off in his video. As you can see, Bonnie is eyeing Daco. Once again, boys, I recommend getting out of there as soon as you can. Off to the left, you can actually see the device they use to keep the animatronic standing up because the last thing you want to have happen is spend months and months working on these characters and then have them fall over and break. So super interesting to get some behind the scenes like that. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these behind the scenes. Just looking at a photo like this is so, so crazy. Sticking with some behind the scenes, we got this brand new terror terrifying look at the Freddy Fazbear animatronic. This was posted by one of the crew members over on their Instagram story, and this definitely goes to show if you have the right lighting with these guys, they can be absolutely frightening. So because of that, I really, really do hope they get creative with some of the lighting, because from the trailers, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some creepy shots, but come on, something like this, this is just absolutely insane. I'm dying to see more shots like this in the final cut. And then you may remember when that first full-length trailer came out, we got a look at this Employee of the Month board, 
board. Though it was a little difficult to make out, there was a lot of people always standing in front of one side of the board. Well, luckily, we got this full view of it. And this board is full of cameos. You may recognize a lot of YouTubers, Razbowski, Baz, John Wolf, Fusion Z Gamer, Daco, DJ Sturf, and 8-Bit Ryan at the bottom. It's packed full of Easter eggs. And finally, for some behind the scenes look, we got Joseph Poliquin's kid posing inside of the dining room of the pizzeria holding the gigantic cupcake. It's a very sweet photo. This was posted by Joseph's wife. So not only is it another amazing look at the full pizzeria they built for this film, a full look at the cupcake animatronic they made, it's also just an adorable photo. All right, well, speaking of Carl, both the cupcake and also the person in this film, let's move on to some rapid fire Easter eggs you might have missed in this new trailer. Now, I do still want to do a full proper analysis of the trailer, but I just thought I'd throw in some Easter eggs you might have missed here in the video. First up, kind of poetic, we got Carl the Cupcake, like I said, killing Carl the character, being played by Joseph Poliquin. Carl the Cupcake is, of course, the widely popular fan name for his official name, Mr. Cupcake. Also, we were able to catch this Easter egg in the last trailer, but we can see it a bit better here. Carl is wearing a t-shirt featuring the Midnight Motors minigame from Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Not much of an Easter egg because it is pretty in your face, but we finally got a proper shot of Foxy running, and this sequence is taken right out of the game. If you brighten up Foxy's running scene, you can see this is happening in that same hallway. We can see the place where you punch in, even the employee of the month board, so this is right in that left hallway. A lot of people have pointed out he looks a bit goofy, doesn't really look like his legs are sprinting a whole lot. I am curious to know if he's using the track we saw him use on the show stage, and that's why it looks like he's just gliding down the hallway instead of running. Though even if that track is the official proper explanation for why it doesn't look like he's running, I still think that's a bit goofy. Finally, for references, Matthew Lillard is going to be playing William Afton in this version of the FNAF film. Though don't tell anyone because he's technically Steve Raglan as he's disguising himself in the movie. Though he of course is actually the killer of all the kids, luring them into the back room with the Spring Bonnie costume. Towards the end of this trailer, we get a few shots of Spring Bonnie lurking in the darkness, wielding his knife. Though if you take a close look at the action that he does with the knife, you'll realize that it's actually a reference to Ghostface in the Scream films, which is such an amazing reference because Matthew Lillard actually played one of the ghost faces in the very first Scream film, and since then that action with the knife has become a iconic staple of Ghostface, so that's amazing they put it in the film. Moving on now from Easter eggs, we might have just gotten our first look at the second FNAF movie, and I'm not even kidding. In this new trailer, there's a scene where Cat Connor Sterling's character of Max gets lured into a back room, and in this parts and service room, we can see Freddy as well as a few spare parts of Endos. Well, in the background, in the darkness, a lot of people have spotted this mask, and it looks strikingly similar to Withered Foxy from FNAF 2. The snout looks the same, the withering looks the same, he's even got the eye patch. In the lore, this does make sense because the FNAF 2 location happens before the FNAF 1 location, so if they're going with that same logic in the film, that makes sense why Withered Foxy would be here. I'm dying to know what are your thoughts on this? Do you actually think this is Withered Foxy? Do you think they're already teasing a sequel to the FNAF film? We do know that Matthew Lillard signed a three-picture deal, which means if they do want to make three FNAF movies, he's gonna be in them. Alright, well now let's move on to our final piece of news, which just got revealed as I'm recording this very video, and that is the fact that Blumhouse's FNAF film will be featured at Blumhouse Behind the Screams at Universal Studios' Halloween Horror Nights. And here's a quote from an article by Fangora, who details what exactly Blumhouse Behind the Screams is. It's an original concept that showcases a selection of Blumhouse horror films, including the highly anticipated films FNAF and The Exorcist Believer and fan-loving hits like Megan and The Black Phone. This unique experience breaks the fourth wall and invites guests to explore these films as they step through the silver screen for an up-close look at authentic film props, costume displays, and terrifying character encounters. So it seems like they're gonna have a whole bunch of props from the film, maybe even the actual animatronics there as well. That's gonna be absolutely surreal because because they are showing so many films included in this Behind the Screams event, I wouldn't expect there to be too, too many FNAF events. You know, it's not like the whole thing is themed around FNAF. I don't think they're gonna have a whole entire, like, haunted house themed around FNAF. It seems more so it's gonna be a big place where you look around and see a whole bunch of props and display cases. They do say character encounters, so maybe they're gonna have something set up where you turn a corner and Chica pops out or something. But either way, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic to see a lot more behind the scenes on the film because of this here event. That's gonna do it for this FNAF movie news video. Like I said, proper trailer analysis coming very soon. Help Wanted 2 gameplay coming very soon. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.